My name is Jim Reams. I'm the city manager. This is Orem, Utah. We're a community of about 94,000 people. Um, we're 90 years old. Um, we began as an agricultural community, primarily um, orchards, fruit orchards. Um, over the years, during World War II, a large steel plant was built west of the community and was there for an operation for about 50 years. Um, over time, we've developed into a broader based community. We're um, we're the home of many high-tech companies here. We're also a regional shopping center for the central part of Utah. Probably the largest shopping area between Salt Lake City and Las Vegas. I went to college at Brigham Young University um, in nearby Provo. I was originally born and raised in Virginia. Um, after graduation, I worked in two other communities in Utah and settled in um, Orm about 15 years ago. Um, growing up in Virginia, my father was a federal um, government employee. My mother um, ran a local agency on aging, so was involved in local government. Um, it's always had an interest to me because of the service element to it. I mean, um, you have an opportunity to be involved in a community and make a difference for, for good for people, to make people's lives better. Um, and, and that was the, that was what was interest of interest to me. Let me talk about engaging with the community more so than the city because I think community is broader and that's the more important element. And um, they engage in a number of ways. Of course, um, many of them um, through their religious affiliations are very engaged in their church service. Uh, many of them are engaged in volunteer work in our library, our senior citizen center, um, coaching Little League, coaching um, recreational programs. They're engaged in local service groups here, and um, they're engaged in the schools. We have very high volunteerism in helping in our schools, things like that. So there's a variety of ways in which our citizens get engaged through volunteerism. Well, we're a full-service city, so we have a full-time police and fire department. Um, we do have what we call our VIPS program, which are volunteers in public safety, who do a marvelous job in, um, in terms of traffic accidents, providing traffic control in times of emergencies would help us with evacuations, things of that nature, um, who go around and check for people parking in um, fire zones, things of that nature. They provide a tremendous service that we just don't have the resources within our budget to provide, and so we greatly appreciate that. Um, we have a lot of dedicated volunteers in our library, in our rec department again, um, and that, in our senior citizen center. That's where we see most of our volunteerism. But we have outstanding um, public safety services. We just contracted with a nearby community who wanted to full access to a full-time fire department and full-time dispatch, and so. Um, it's a very good partnership for them and for us. So. Right now, of a community of, of 94,000, um, we circulate about 1.2 million items a year. So there's a lot of people coming and using our library. Um, we have a lot of programs there for young people. As a matter of fact, half of our library is um, built and dedicated um, specifically for children's. It's called our Children's Library. Um, beautiful stained glass window there, fairy tale stories donated. We have, uh, they are supported by the Friends of the Warren Public Library, which sponsor the annual Tempanoga Storytelling Festival, which is a, a national event every year, which between the mid-year conference and the summer performances draws about 40,000 um, participants to it. They would expect neighborhoods with kids running around. They would expect um, a park within just about a half a mile of each home in the community. They would expect large regional parks. Um, some of our parks are, are, are formal parks with formal gardens and fountains and things. Most of them, all of them have playground facilities. Um, they could find large recreational facilities where their kids could be engaged in baseball and softball and football and soccer. Uh, they would find um, um, outdoor entertainment in the, in the Wasatch Mountains near here, hiking, skiing at Sundance in the winter, close proximity to the Salt, Salt Lake County, ski resorts in Park City. They would find um, 
they'd find a clean environment. Um, we work very hard to um, keep our community looking clean and fresh. Um, I think they would find a, a community with nice neighbors, people who care for one another, who watch out for one another. Our biggest investment probably over the last seven or eight years has been in our recreation department. We built um, a major regional park up um, the canyon just outside, just um, about a mile up the canyon, which is beautiful, you know, which is the home of our Tippanoga Storytelling Festival. We restored a historic resort park in Southwest Orm on the opposite side of town, which was there around the turn of the um, 19th century into the early 20th century. We restored that with the fountains and the gardens. It was designed by a gentleman whose uncle had been the chief gardener for the King of Denmark. And so he tried to replicate some of that. During World War I, it became a wheat field. We found the plans, got a historical architect to help us and kind of reinvented that resort. Um, we built a major, a large outdoor swimming pool that focuses primarily on kids in shallow areas. We built a regional um, um, playing field facility called Lakeside Park, 55 acres of soccer field and softball fields. We can have um, up to 25 youth soccer games going on there at any one time and five adult softball games. Um, so that's been a made, it's attracted tournaments for people all over the state. So it's been great. Um, we've just done a public private partnership to build a new 18 hole golf course on the shore of Utah Lake. And um, without any investment from the city, through um, development agreements with the developer, he bought the adjacent land and sold it for residential development and built a golf course. And is building his clubhouse now through what we think is an innovative public-private partnership in which we allowed him to put two floors of um, condominiumized offices on there and by the sale of those will pay for his clubhouse. We know they love it because they use it. And that's the, that's the best gratitude that we can see is people out there being happy. You know, it's interesting when you go out to a soccer game, my daughter plays soccer and so we were out there quite a bit. But you know, um, grandma and grandpa come, the aunts and uncles come, the cousins come, and so, you know, our biggest challenge is, and it's been okay, is that parking. <laughs> we put over 300 and some parking stalls out there and it's not enough because every kid has five car loads of people coming to watch them play. And so, that's great, it's a family thing. And, and you know, our, our theme is Family City USA and I think we reflect that well. It's wonderful, it's a wonderful place to live, good educational system, great recreational opportunities, good neighborhoods, and that's always been my focus. And what I think our main goal and responsibility as a community is, is to maintain neighborhoods where people want to live.